Hello friends, I literally just ended another one of my vlogs. Uh, I have to get going. I'll take you guys with me, not on this camera. I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. Let's go. Hello friends! I hope the sound is okay. I'm talking extra loud to make sure that y'all hear me. Uh, but yeah, uh, I even like pushed this guy down so that it's not like in the way because usually it's up here. Oh, maybe a little lower. Yeah, right there. That's exactly where it is. But push it down as far as it'll go. That's, that's as far as it goes. <sighs> so, I just got home. I'm actually still in my driveway because I haven't gone upstairs yet. I was going to like have a sit down and talk in the car. Um, I would do this while I drive, but I can't find my mount. Like I, I used it twice and it's gone. I don't know where I put it. Ugh. It's somewhere. I, it's just hiding. It's hiding and it refuses to tell me where it is. Anyway, so I was running so late because um, Ernie has his lunch at noon and I wanted to be there before noon or like at least by noon to uh, have like the maximum amount of time that I could have with him but I didn't get in get there until about 12.20 so it's not like super late but late enough to make me like mad at myself um, so I took Bart to a mall in San Francisco and then I had to take Muni to where Ernie works which like isn't very far but I took Bart there um, because I wanted to pick up food. I ended up just getting two sandwiches from um, Starbucks and waiting forever because what's her face didn't take, I don't know her name, but she also didn't take my name because she was just gonna give me the sandwiches without toasting it and like one has like spread on the outside and it's like obviously needs to be toasted but I got a chicken and fig spread one which is actually surprisingly good and um, Ernie got, I gave Ernie, that's what he got from me. Um, a turkey and pastrami with like a cabbage salad in the, inside it was he said it was really good and he ate the whole thing and I ate my whole thing it was really good I even messed up my makeup on my chin because my lipstick got on it while I was eating I didn't think that far ahead okay um, but uh, on my way to meet up with Ernie um, I saw this man get onto Muni that's the streetcars and buses in San Francisco he was obviously homeless and there's this guy on a, wearing a suit that was already on there and he asked the guy if he had a dollar he was like really really polite he was like hey man is there any chance that you have a dollar and he thought about it and he was like no I don't, I don't have anything for you yeah I'm sorry I knew that I had money in my wallet because I just had to get changed to pay for parking and so the guy you know he's he was really polite he wasn't like some like really because sometimes homeless people get really ab abrasive and I can understand why um, but he wasn't and he's just like sweetie can is there any chance that you gotta um, that you have a dollar and I was like yeah and my stop was coming up so I was like kind of panicking trying to find my wallet because I was looking in the bag that I was holding and I couldn't find my wallet and then then I realized it was in my dress pocket I'm so used to not being able to carry my wallet on me like in my pockets that I didn't even think to look in my pockets but as soon as we pulled up to my stop I, I pulled out the five and I was like here you go have a nice day and he was like thank you thank you so much also I love your hair and I was like oh thank you You're so sweet thank you sir um, so he was really nice as I was leaving the station a girl that was talking on the phone like stopped everything to look at me and say I love your shoes so that was nice I got multiple compliments on my shoes like a lot like, there was even a guy that was walking past me, looked down at my shoes while he was passing by, stopped, turned around, came up to me and asked me where I got my shoes. And I was like, it's from Journeys, man. 
some journey. Let me show you why everybody loves these shoes that I'm telling you about. Eh. Literally taking off my shoe in my car just to you guys here. These ones. Huh? <laughs> they are so cute. I got them from Journeys. They are Vans, obviously. Got the stripe here. I don't know if they have them in store anymore or even online, but um, if they do have it, I'll link it down below because how cute are these? Every time I wear them out, I get at least one compliment on my shoes. Um, my outfit got at least two compliments and my hair got a bunch, like three just in the grocery store that I just got home from. So, yeah, there was a lot. A whole lot. Oh, people are so nice. See, if you're having a down day, put on some makeup, put on a cute outfit. If you have time, of course, I'm trying to put on my shoe with the steering wheel in the way. I can't do it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop blocking off my legs. Okay. Eh. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you're having a down day, and you are in desperate need of a boost of confidence. Put on some makeup and a cute outfit. Hi. And go out for a while. Just walk around. You gonna get so many compliments, girl? Hey vlog. So today I stayed home all day. I was just cleaning all day. And <clears throat> I put this little ribbon thingy here um, a few days ago. And this is the amount of clothes from my closet that I've worn thus far this year. <laughs> um, of course, there's some like in the laundry too still. So <sighs> yeah, I'm working on cycling through everything here. Hopefully I'll actually do that. <sighs> I just, I tend to wear the same thing over and over and over again. Also, some things have two things on the hanger. So that doesn't help my case. Get off. There. There you go. I went through everything downstairs. Um, and there's a lot of clothes that I need to put on Poshmark. Oh, and I found the red version of the black dress that I recently got from Torrid. I want to try it on. Maybe I'll hold on to it. It's been sitting in a box for a while, so I just have to wash it. But regardless, I always wash things before I send them out anyway. Ugh. But it's such a cute dress, and now I kind of want it for February, because Valentine's Day and all that jazz. We'll see. I just got my order from YesStyle, and I got this um, eyebrow thing that I totally forgot about. So, I figured I might as well give it a try, because I think you're supposed to leave it on, like, all night. The only way to do is go to sleep. <clears throat> But I also really want to try out this brow stuff. And Ernie's in the shower. Alright, I'm going to clean off my brows. It's a little alcohol prep wipe thing. Just to make sure that no skincare is going to mess with my uh, brow things. All nice and clean. And then, oh, I didn't even tell you guys what this is, huh? It's the Etude House My Brows Gel Tint. This is a new version. I tried the original one a few years ago and it came out really green um, and it wasn't very long lasting either. So I did not like it, but I have one here. It's in the shade three, uh, which is gray brown. Hopefully this is a better color and it's in the new formula. So what are we supposed to do? Cause I don't remember. You have to basically just brush this on Leave it on for at least two hours. I am going to leave it on all night. I always have like this little patch of hair right under my brow here that I don't necessarily want when I have brow product on, but when I take it off, then my brows look too thin without it. So instead of getting rid of it, I just leave it, and when I need to, I just cover it with concealer. I think I'm going to stop here. I don't know how this is going to look <laughs> after I take it off. Usually I would use just a, an eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, like an eyebrow brush, an angled brush to do this anytime I do my brows, but 
the one that I use for these types of products is in my bathroom and Ernie is in the middle of taking a shower and the lock door the lock is doored the door is locked it's been a while since I just sat cross-legged on the floor and it hurts my back I'm too young for this well I'm sitting here I figure I might as well show you guys what else I got see you um yes style if you guys don't know is a website that sells beauty products and things and there's like a ton of K-beauty on there. You can get American brands too and Japanese band, bands, brands, and I believe some brands from the UK as well. I focused on the K-beauty brands. That's what I wanted to try out. So that's basically everything that I have here. Um, here's this Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. I love everything from Innisfree. I have yet to be disappointed with anything that I've got from them. I've been trying to find lighter beauty products not lighter as in color wise but texture wise um because i'm i just don't feel like wearing makeup the same way anymore um like sometimes i still want a full coverage look but i don't want heavy foundation you know what i mean i really hate how they put this on here this is very annoying because i want to see mm, the lid it's the skin food buckwheat loose powder in the shade natural beige i think this will be all right i really like skin food products i don't think i've used a skin food oh this is a really nice puff i don't think i've used a skin food makeup product but i have tried their skincare and i am a fan i love their skincare so 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 much for me they're kind of like a more affordable version of innisfree i have this guy here this is a zero velvet tint for lips um, it's from the brand, what brand are you? Rom and ND. I don't know, but there it is. Ooh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love the packaging. Look at how cute. It's been a while since I ordered this stuff. Uh, yes, Style's shipping is pretty slow, especially since they are international. There's just a little dot of that. Super pretty, totally one of my favorite shades. And it just kind of, you can blend it away to look like really soft and powdery. I love it. I love it so much. And when you blend it away, it kind of does turn into like almost a powdery finish. So it could also be good for blush. Two more things. One is this Juicy Pang, Juicy Pung. I don't know, um, but it's a water blusher. It's a liquid blush, basically. It kind of like looks like nail polish in its container here. See? Totally looks like nail polish. So here's a little dot of that. As you can see, I'm just going to blend it. Oh, it feels so nice. That feels like really creamy, but very lightweight. Also cannot see the color very much. So maybe I chose a color that was too light, um, but it's okay. I'll figure out something. I like putting um, liquid or cream blushes on my eyelids um, on days where I'm wearing minimal to no makeup, just to add like a little bit of color if I need it to. And the last thing I have here is so adorable, it's my favorite thing, and I'm so mad about where they put the freaking, what you call, tag. The tag here. It's right over Sailor Moon's face, Usagi's face, Serena's face. Okay? Okay? I'm very mad about it. I don't like it. Um, but it is a lip balm and blush in the compact. Of, oh my gosh. Since they covered up her face, um, I guess like the packaging just doesn't matter very much anymore. It is the little compact. It is so adorable. Like, I low-key want to carry this everywhere with me, and I also don't want to carry it anywhere because I don't want to ruin it. It's so cute! Look at it! Look at it! It's so cute! So cute! So cute! Here's the color. That's a nice color. I look crazy. <laughs> Alright, time for bed. Hello, vlog. I woke up and Ernie told me that my eyebrow was falling off. So let's, let's pull this guy the rest of the way. Ooh. No, I woke, you woke up and I was wearing your eyebrows. <laughs> Let's see here. 
That is incredible. Oh my goodness. I love it. Ha! Ah. That's pretty good. Is there still stuff here? Nope. Nope, nothing. All gone. Yay! Alright, just washed my face for this third yeah, third time today. And this is what my brows look like. So they are definitely fading fast, but to be expected I think it still looks pretty good but if I wanted to keep it this way I would have to apply this stuff every night which isn't bad because it's just an overnight thing and then you peel it off in the morning so yeah and I do like the color it leaves behind it's not bad not bad at all and for like I want to say it was like nine bucks it's not too bad I could deal with that oh hello hello how are you he always sneaks up on me and then when I almost step on him, he looks insulted. Like, then why? What's with the sneaking? What's with the sneaking? Why? Why do you do such things? You good boy. Good morning, guys. I, oh my gosh, my, cat, my battery's dying. Did I charge my other battery? <gasps> no, everything's dying. Oh, God. Anyway, you see how dark it is? You see how dark it is? Um, look, so dark. Well, it looks really bright on the camera, but it's actually like really, really dark. You can tell by how dark everything is in my home right now. Everything's really dark. And yeah, it's raining outside and it is like 8.30 in the morning. Yep, 8.31. Oh, I'm so good at telling time. <sighs> anyway, I put the henna over my brows again, and this time it was over the tint that the makeup thingy from Etude House left behind. And now it's really, really dark. <laughs> and I'm desperately trying to fade it. It's so rough. Yikes. I don't say yikes. But this is a yikes situation bad and I can't go for a walk today because it is pouring rain and I don't want to get sick because I get sick enough already so what what do I do I'm gonna use 8 fit I'm gonna do some workouts that way yes sir who's the, who's the sir in this situation oh my god there's thunder there's lightning it's hailing and my eyebrows are super dark look at this I don't think you guys can see that there's hail. Hail. Eh. Ooh. Ooh. They keep bouncing off of my hands, but there's hail. Fun, fun stuff. Beautiful day outside. <laughs> <laughs> 